Hello everyone. We are in our home in Cornwall in Newland and we decided to paint this amazing scene. It's my husband, Mr. B's piano. I've been wanting to paint it since it came in here and we are going to do a 35 by 45 canvas. Um, I feel a little bit trepidous, tre tre trepidous. trepidatious. Thank you <laughs> um, for doing it because it's quite a big scene, but we thought we'd have a go. Um, so if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and like it and um, have a look for our workshops too. We're doing some plein air workshops this spring and autumn. All right, I think we'll start. I did a sketch this morning before we started, uh, just to place where I wanted to, um, the composition in, on the canvas and how much I'm going to include of the piano. And I did think about cropping in, but actually I, I just love the shape of this and I love the reflection in the window. So I've decided to try the whole caboodle um, and I'm going to try sketching out now. Um, with the help of my drawing there. So when I start a sketch like this, you know, the, the drawing out, I want to decide how much I'm going to include so and how big this piano is going to be in the middle of it. Um, so I'm using ultramarine as a, a thin underpainting. Um, I'll add other colours, translucent colours, as I go. Uh, just kind of feeling my way at the moment, what sort of um, placement is going to be. So I've been, you saw by the time lapse that I've worked in some of the darks and lights using ultramarine, yellow ochre and permanent rose. So three primaries but just different types, um, all um, translucent with no white yet because so, I want to be able to rub it out and move it around still. So um, I've decided that it would be lovely to have Mr. B in this painting. I thought it would be nice to <laughs> So um, he's going to model for me, um, especially as he is a pianist. Um, so let's get him in. Come yeah. on then, Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see me because I've zoomed in. Oh, oh, true, true. Maybe you need to zoom out so you can see, see, me see what in we're there. doing. Yes. Okay. Make it look real, because it is. <laughs> So can you see the, the piano? Hang on. Yeah. yeah, you can see Mr. B. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. B husband. <laughs> okay, so I just want to check to see what's in in the frame. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just zoom in again now. Um, it will be on to that. Yes. Well, I need to be able to, you need to be able to see what I'm painting. There we go. 
Um, we're not going to be able to see you for a moment, Mr. B, I'm afraid. Oh dear. What a shame. Uh, because he's wearing a ready top, I'm going to just add a little bit of burnt, burnt sienna and permanent rose in there, just to tint it a bit at this stage. It's going to help me later. We can't have you playing yet, Mr. B, because of YouTube, we're not sure. So could you just pretend, please? <laughs> no, no playing. No, naughty. Naughty. <laughs> he is a very good pianist. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> I haven't actually really painted hubby before, so it's really nice to do it. Um, Let's hope it works out. You never know. Ooh, a bit bright. Do I need a bullfighting top on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was your face. Oh. <laughs> bit scary. Uh, I think you need to pretend to play. So put your hands out, thank you. <laughs> Am I too bossy? It's hard to pretend. Yeah. I'm sure with your help I'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of my paintings always feel like the seat of my pants and it would have been nice to have done this painting before doing a video on it, you know, to kind of make me feel a bit more confident about what I'm doing. But that hasn't happened. <laughs> Does it feel funny to be modelling Mr B? Yes, it's a little bit uh, unusual. <laughs> you make a very good muse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of drifting a little bit. Okay, that's all right. I don't mind. I don't know if it would have been better to have you in a lighter top because you're blending with the darkness of the piano, but try with that for now. I can always change you out. <laughs> Put someone else in. No. Someone, something darker, a darker top. Uh, I'm just, there's more space. So I'm looking at the relationship between this and this. I'm getting some, um, just some colour onto this canvas. It's almost like a underpainting, I guess you'd say. Um, thinking about the placement and the tonal values. I wanted to get this bookshelf in there, um, but it's it's actually quite it's more over than it's over further over. This is quite a challenge. This painting it's very complex.
It's also quite tricky because Mr. B isn't in it the whole time, so um, harder to adjust. I'm going to come back to the, the picture in there. Um, so through the, so I've got a mirror here, and um, this area is the lightest point because it's through the window. So the mirror onto the window, mirror that way going, reflecting this way, it's quite complicated. Um, and it's the lightest part. And round it is fairly dark, and it's darker than this bit of wall. So this needs to be darker than that. So while I'm doing this blocking in, um, I'm thinking about that and making sure that that kind of reflects it in my block in. I'm squinting my eyes to see sort of the colour that's there and it's a kind of a yellowy, yellowy-ish colour. Kind of a yellowy grey. Yeah, correct. Which is sort of what I've got here. I'm gonna, so that's the patio doors. It did help me to do the drawing beforehand because it allowed me to really study it, um, which is a good thing because when you're painting it, it's hard to really study as well. Um, so I've blocked this whole unit in, even though there's a lot of detail in here, I'm, I'm not looking at that detail at the moment. I've got a curtain in there as well. Um, so that kind of does the, that bit. So now I'm just looking at the piano compared to the floor and the piano is, I'd say, the darkest thing, um, especially this bit here. <laughs> and um, so this is my darkest area. So I'm going to go back in with my dark brush um, and make sure and I think just darken it up. So it helps me. So the colours I'm using there are ultramarine, burnt sienna, a little bit of red, so the permanent. Um, and possibly a bit of yellow ochre. So it's a, it's a combo of the three primaries. So it gives me a nice dark colour, but it's not a real black black. It's got colour in it. You see what I mean? But it's nice and translucent still. Um, I can add thicker paint over the top of that a bit later on. So it goes a bit lighter along here and then it gets darker again. So I'm looking for any variation. Meanwhile, trying to get the shape better too as I go. So each time I go over an area, I'm working on that shape, looking for any varieties that I need to put in there at this stage. And this leg down here. So I wanted to make sure the leg here did fit, only just does, um, because this one is going to fall off the end quite Ouch. a lot. Ouch. <laughs> Might be a bit wide now, that. Let's have a look. You can see it comes off. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> comes off really easily because it's still translucent.
I think I've mapped out enough now to start on the thicker paint. Um, this is where it's kind of fun getting into a bit juicier and thicker and more opaque. So I'm going to use some white now. Um, and this is when I can tell whether it's going to start working. And it's keeping in mind the tonal values. So making sure that I stick to this kind of map that I've done. So I'm going to start off um, with some of the bigger areas and um, I'm liking that the little lamp as well. So um, he needs to go in as well. But I really need Mr. B in there to know how big that is and against him. Um, do you mind going in, Mr. B? I can go in. Have you stopped it or not? No. I haven't. No, OK, you can go. You don't need to stop it. <laughs> It's, it's not the usual to be having, you know, uh, my cameraman in the painting. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. B. Mm. So pretend to play, yeah. not looking at me, kiddo. Okay. We can do some scales. Da -da -la 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 -la. Uh, we'll have to check with YouTube whether we're allowed to, because we're not sure whether we can have uh, Mr. B playing because we don't know whether that would be a copyright. You know, like if he played some Mozart, someone else has probably done Mozart. And they probably think I'm Lang Lang. <laughs> 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 All right, well, maybe not Lang Lang. Of course Lang. they will. <laughs> you are a superstar. <clears throat> More like Eric Morkham. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you want to have a little play and then if we if it doesn't work, we'll just take it out. So go for it. We'll miss a bit of. Well, we won't miss the painting. We'll just uh, just mute it. That's okay. You should have put music up there. Yeah. We can mute that bit. Yeah, I can fade it in and out. Can I? Can I? Uh huh. I'm going to get on to some uh, thicker paint now. Juicy. And, yes, juicy and no gamsol, which is what I use to thin my paint. Um, so I've just used yellow ochre and ultramarine. Um, the background, so I'm, I'm going to do a bit of wool. Um, I used a bit of permanent rose there too. So it's getting the tonal values right. It's not bad. You can go back up now, Mr. B. <laughs> well, that's doing that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, true. We can stop. It's going to be a while before I remix. I'm 
we could time lapse this bit. Well, you could just speed it up on the. Yeah. Posh canvas, this one. Sorry? It's a posh canvas, this one. Ah. Run out. They, they they're not making any more at the moment, so I haven't got any more. Of... Any more posh ones? Or... No, no small posh ones. This is obviously a big posh one. The outside has changed quite a lot. Um, it was a lot bluer. It's gone kind of milky out there. The main thing to remember is that it's very light. I'm putting my first kind of layer on and then I can lighten it up. It helps me to take away the um, the white, it's too white at the moment. It's hard for me to tell whether it's working, but it is very light too. And I'm going to bring some of the reflection down into this piano and exaggerate the reflection, even though it's not as huge as what I'm going to do it. I think there is still some in here. I think it breaks it up and brings the outside in as well. With a subject like this, it's sometimes hard to know where to start because it's just so many aspects to it. Um, but the main thing I'm trying to do is get in lots of big shapes and not look at the details. So this, this harbour thing here is incredibly detailed. So I'm, I'm squinting my eyes and just seeing um, the sort of colour that I could, you know, that the the general colour of the whole thing. And there isn't much. Uh, there's a bit of yellow and a bit of red. The main thing about it is that it's really light. So I'm adding a lot of titanium in there. And also, because it's quite far away, um, the view, it's got a blueness to it too. I'm just getting Mr. B to model for me again so I can um, get some thicker paint of him. I'm using um, per permanent rose and some viridian um, because the viridian is the complementary green and 
it cancels out some of that red, which is useful. I'm looking for any kind of darks on him as well. So it's darker on that side. Um, and I make sure that the light side shows up lighter. I use um, cad yellow, cadmium yellow to lighten the colour and also some white. Not enough. I want his arm to show up because it's the part that shows that he's playing the piano. Feels like I need to go back with the darker um, and just paint round around him and the his top. So if I if I want a really dark dark, I use the three primaries. Um, a quick shortcut to that is using burnt sienna and ultramarine, which is a primaries orange and blue. I don't want to make it too precise. I want an impression. His face is a lot lighter in tonal value than the shirt. I'm using the negative space behind his neck um, and onto that light to try and make the shape right. Um,
but I'm just, I'm trying to make it look lighter as well because it's so bright. Um, I'm using some warmer colors to create the sky um, and thicker as well. You can see how much thicker I'm going. Um, and that really then gives me a difference between the two, which will help. It's, it's kind of hard to do it all in one go because the paint kind of needs to settle for a bit and then it allows a bit more on top of it. That's better, definitely, now that I've got a bit more on there. Um, I need to do the same for the water. And I'm using a little bit of cerulean with that lemony, with a lemony mix. can also define those uh, uprights as well a bit more. It's better. Mm. Do you think, Mr. B? I think so, yeah. Good. Not happy with that bit still. It doesn't look quite right. Um, I don't know if I got the bunting in, that would help. A bit of detail maybe. Um, I need to put the picture in. So the painting is one that we bought ourselves as a treat um, when we moved in here. Um, it's by David Pilgrim, great artist. So you should look him up. It's over Cornwall Beach, Cornish Beach. Um, what's the beach, Mr. B? The beach is Pedden Vounder, ah, near yes. Porth Kernow. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see in the in the picture. I've got a couple of body boards there. We, I got, got one for my birthday and I said, you know, if you buy one for me, Mr. B, you have to buy one for yourself as well because I don't want to go bodyboarding without you. So we've now got very lovely bodyboards and we just have to be brave and get out there. I got a wetsuit from my mum as well. So, yeah, all the gear and now I just have to be brave. <laughs> There's a very cute fish also in the video. There's a fishy. Oh, <laughs> that's Dory. <laughs> We're a bit of a fan. Uh-huh. Put that there. Good idea. Could do a bit of filming from there as a different... You can't see anything. No? Okay. No. Well, it's really... If you film from back there, it gives an idea of the... Yeah. You know, the... Although I've had you in the mirror with the background. Okay. But I can, I can do some. We can... The bunting is um, 
so the bunting that's in the room and not hanging down is a lot darker than the bunting that's hanging down so this it kind of the light comes through it so I'm doing the stuff that's darker first make sure it is dark enough but not too dark and also adding variety to it too morning <laughs> so we are back ready for try again and um, I'm pumped up full of energy and lots of enthusiasm so um, I've got my fleecy on because it's a little bit burr out there at the moment and but I'm excited just to carry on and bear with me what so else am I going to do Ready? It's already started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I tested on my phone the, the tonal values and it looks pretty good. Um, I think I've made this slightly too dark, so I'm going to just give it a scrape, which is quite useful to do. Um, I'm not happy with that either. And then I can paint over the top. Because um, it's the, it is darker, but the difference is I've made the difference too big. Um, so overnight, I didn't wash my brushes. I just wiped them. Um, so I can still use them. So I'm looking at what colour I think it, um, the colour looks like as a general and I think it's a yellower, yellowy grey. Um, so I'm using yellow ochre, ultramarine, a little bit of scarlet and white. How do I get out of this? Make sure I do it light enough this time. It's not bad. Make sure it's darker than the outside of that. Darker than the inside, I mean. Um, and now I just want to go back to this room and put the, the tonal values of that in there. So. I've got a bit of um, permanent rose in there and then ultramarine yellow ochre, I mean cad yellow. So it's, I've got to make sure that that is lightest um, and it's, I think that's just a bit too light compared to it. So I'm adding a bit of yellow ochre and blue. Maybe still too much. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you about the piano. We didn't get to say that yesterday. So um, it's Nick's, sorry, Mr. B's piano. Um, and it was inheritance from his mama because she was a pianist 
And um, one of the credentials of finding a house in Cornwall was that we had to find something that fitted the piano. Um, and we live up 76 steps from the main road. That's the only, you know, only access point for us. So it's quite, um, to get this piano up here was a big feat. A logistical yes. conundrum. We had to get specialist piano movers who were used to doing like really tricky removals to get it up here. And I couldn't watch. It was just, wow. It was, <sighs> but they did it and they did it without, uh, you know, damaging it at all. At one point they were, when I phoned them up, they said they were looking at uh, getting it in by helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, but we decided that was just, well, well you can't do it it's either. It's illegal. It's yeah. illegal to have it in, so. I'm varying the colours here. Um, so I've got kind of bluer up here, where, where it's away from the light source a bit more, and then warmer and lighter down there when there's a, because the light is coming in um, across like this. So in other words, in, in like that. Um, and then some darker bluey bits down the bottom there too. There's more shadow down there. And while I do it, I can define the piano a bit more. I think it's actually a bit too skinny, the piano. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. On Thursday, I'm doing a live um, live on YouTube and Facebook with Eric Rhodes, and he's quite a famous businessman and, and painter. So it's going to be called, I think it's Art School Live. So I'm going to put the link on this video. So do have a look. Um, it's 12 o'clock EST time on, um, yeah, on Thursday, which is, I think, 5 p.m., um, UK time. So that's going to be exciting. I've never done something like that before. Uh, it's connected with the plein air live I did. They asked whether I wanted to do it. So of course, got to say yes to these things. So I'm trying to be quite loose as well. You know, I don't want it too tight, but I want it to look like it's not too wibbly wobbly. So now I'm going to go back to this and check the tonal values of that. It's not too bad. It's lighter over this side because there's a window down there. And that picture as well. I'm not going to put the TV in there because I'm just simplifying. I can choose what goes in there. I haven't done the, you know, the floor. Uh, when I squint my eyes, I can see that there's kind of light in here and then from the shadow of this, the shadow's down there. 
um, the tonal value is lighter than that. So that's what I do when I start, you know, I, I check the tonal values compared to other things in the painting. I'm using, um, mm. pardon, oops, <laughs> excuse me. Start that again. <laughs> I'm using yellow ochre, uh, scarlet lake and ultramarine. So it's basically an orange with blue. I made an orange and then I added blue. Um, because blue is a complementary to orange. So I've got to decide how bright I want it. And so I'm going back and adding a bit more yellow and orange and seeing how bright it can go, really. Um, I can choose, you know, what, what I want. And also I can go back over it too. I think it needs to be a bit yellower and then it will pick up the yellows in the other areas. I think it could be a bit too bright. So I just added a bit of blue and white. The reflection in from the floor. I can also sculpt in that leg too. And now I need to make it darker because of the um, the shadow from the piano comes down. A lot of shadows back here. So the bookcase needs some work as well. Um, there's a variety of colours in there, so I'm mixing colours that I've already got on my um, palette here from other things. But I don't want too much attention to go to it, so that might be a bit bright. But. And there's a shadow on the top of the books. And, uh, I need to get the top of it in too. So I go back to the brush that's got the kind of the orangey colour on it. Nicely done. Thank you. There's quite a dark shadow underneath. Um, which 
I think would help to get that in. I think it might need something across the other side of the painting to balance up. So I've just dunked my finger in um, some Gamsol and I'm going to just wipe away a little bit because I've got to plant a peace lily um, that might look quite nice if it's poking out on the other side here if I can make it work. Um, if I try and paint over the top of that, it will just look a bit milky. I need a little space on my palette too, I'm running out of space. Just scrape some clean. I'm, I'm using um, ultramarine. Oops. And cadmium yellow. And I look for how dark it is, and it is quite dark. Um, just see how that is, just to start with. Whew. He is quite strong. I've just added a bit of white and a bit of yellow. See how that looks. Okay. It's too much. I don't know if it's going to work in there. We'll try it. Get the little table in as well. I've moved it along a bit to get it in the in the shot in the compo. You know, when things, um, inanimate things like this table, it brings back memories because this is one of the things that we had in our childhood house. So it's happy memories. Um, and then there is shadows down underneath it. I'm just going to go back into um, Mr. B. So he's modelling for me again, um, very nicely. And um, I feel like I haven't quite kind of cracked him as a subject yet. Um, looks like there needs to be, it's quite a dark jackety thing he's wearing, shirt. Um, but it needs to have a bit more light on it, I think. The light is, because of the lights coming in here, it's glaring a little bit on my canvas, which I'm finding it difficult to see it. Um, So 
such a cute model. <laughs> I can sit here and pull faces safe in the knowledge that I'm not actually in frame. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I'm going to have a go at doing his face again. I think his head's a bit small. Um, I can't do anything about that. No, the painting. Oh, I see. My head of my painting is too small for you. It needs to be a bit bigger. So you've got to remember that the light is coming on the side here. I don't think of him as a, I'm not thinking him as a head, I'm just doing it as shapes. And then I'm going to do the bit in shadow. I'm using a bit more red and a bit more blue for the shadowy bit. I think it's better. I need to get his hair in as well. The hair helps to kind of um, sculpt the top of his head. It's a bit too dark. It's quite light. And it's, it's got warmness in it too. It's not, it's not just a grey colour. It's, it's a warm colour, warm grey. So I'm adding some of his base colour in there as well. Being so nice and still. <laughs> so I want some difference between this bit and the um, lamp behind. It's a shame that the lamp is a similar colour. It's better. I think. I can see also that there's a shadow in here that I'm going to get um, while I see it. I'm using colours that are already on my palette. almost makes it him look in the room then you know, because he's creating a, a shadow and I can check the drawing too
I'm looking for any highlights I can put in. There's a highlight in there. And on the edge of the, this thing. bit in there too. So I had to um, stop the camera and go straight on to it because I'm doing slightly to the side and get Mr. B to actually play the piano because I'd painted it with his head upright and actually it wasn't right. So I scraped it out, redone it. And I think it is better, but it was quite a challenge. So um, it's the first time I painted him. So I didn't want it to be a disaster. Um, so now I'm just checking for anything that stands out that isn't quite right or, you know, if there's a gap, like, you know, I can see some gaps in here that doesn't look quite right and this is a bit too globby. <laughs> it's not the right word. Heavy, it's not. Heavy, it's, it's, yeah. yes, not globby. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just looking for anything that I can adjust the painting and just bring it together, these last kind of few marks, really. Um, yep. I can also, as I'm doing it, reshape um, any, I can use the outside of the marks to make the shape. So come in, in other words to it. And also in the other way, um, anything that's not reading right, the other um, the positive shape of it. I'm doing the negative shape. So I don't know if you'd be inspired to have a go at painting this subject or even just a small part you could do this. I'm going to include them on my Instagram post um, tomorrow, Monday. Um, so do have a look. Um, and if you're looking back at this, just yeah, find this post on my Instagram, Claire Bowen Artist, um, and I can share it. And yeah, and if you do post it, don't forget to use my name and the hashtag Claire Bowen U2. Um, and then I can see what you do as well. It's, I think it's nice to share. So that will be Monday, the 13th of March, 2023. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this because it's um, it is a tricky subject, and um, it it gives a different idea of how I do this sort of subject compared to you know a quicker thing like flowers. And if there's anything that you'd like me to do a a, a video on, do put it in the comments. I'd be interested to see. Um, So I notice a little bit of light coming in here. Might be a bit much, but catching the light. Because there's not much light coming on it, it's good to pick up anything that I can.
And there's a small amount on the, um, the legs here. Makes it look shiny. Too much, maybe. Oh, wow, that was a complicated painting, quite a good size, too. I think it's fourteen by eighteen or thirty five by forty five centimeters. And yeah, um, I enjoyed it, got into it, and um, it was nice to have Mr. B playing, and I hope that we can have that on the, the channel as well, if YouTube will allow it. And um, I'm just pleased that I've managed it, and it looks okay, and um, hope that you've enjoyed watching me do this one, and do subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Um, and also like this video. Um, a big thank you for Mr. B for his um, debut as my model <laughs> and also um, obviously doing the filming. So um, don't forget to watch me on Thursday um, at um, Eric Road School and um, have a look at our workshops too. So bye for now and see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.